A mid-July itinerary is the first to list the island as a port of call for the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chasney says protocols have been determined for the subsector. This includes mandatory vaccinations, pre-arrival COVID-19 testing and limited shore excursion tour options. All passengers disembarking the ship onto the island will be required to wear a face mask, adhere to physical distancing and regular sanitizing. Honorable Chasney says talks, however, continue to address gray areas of the cruise sector resumption. What we're looking at is that everybody who would be on the ship would be vaccinated, um, both the crew as well as the guests. The, the complicated matter is that persons under the age of 18 and certainly persons under the age of 10 are mm -hmm. probably not going to be vaccinated. And what are the protocols we're going to put in place? And that's what we're working through right now for those specific persons. An itinerary of four destinations in the region will harmonize the protocols and work in tandem to fit each government's COVID-19 response requirements. These include ensuring the isolation of any crew or passengers that contract COVID-19 during the cruise. In the case of St. Lucia, um, we have been coexisting with COVID. We've created a bubble for our tourism industry and that bubble has continued to grow meaning that in addition to having access to the hotel that the tourists are now having access to certain tours and so the, the persons who are providing those tours have actually been practicing the necessary protocols and are being properly um, observed on a regular basis to make sure that that we're not spreading any disease locally so that's really fortunate for the cruise industry because it means they can benefit automatically um, from that experience, and particularly if all the persons who are going on the tours have been um, vaccinated. We believe we have a great product, and now each one of the countries are doing similarly to St. Lucia in working out what their protocols are going to be. St. Lucia has established a special tourism committee to provide oversight over the resumption of the cruise tourism, which includes the ministries of tourism, health and wellness, and the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority. The protocols will continue to be examined and updated where necessary as the July restart date draws nearer.